Professor Phil Zimbardo is the world's leading expert in groundbreaking psychology experiments, and his colleague, Dr. Mark McDermott, is one of Britain's top social psychologists. We are about to see a practical experiment unfold. We're going to observe what happens when we put real people in a field experiment. We want to learn more about first impressions. How are they formed, and how long does it take? It's a big day for these three women. They're competing for a secretarial job starting Monday morning, and we've been allowed in to film their interviews. They've got 15 minutes each to prove their worth. Or have they? We're about to find out how long it really takes to make a lasting impression. The candidates will be facing Judy Fisher, a recruitment consultant with 30 years experience. We've given her this dial, which is connected to our control room, hidden away in an adjoining office. There, we're effectively going to read Judy's mind. This machine will make a trace of her thought processes. If Judy's impressed, she'll turn her dial up. That will produce a trace high on the screen. If she's underwhelmed, she'll turn it down and the trace will sink. Everything will be scrutinized by occupational psychologist Terry Kellard. Bridget, hello, I'm Judy Fisher. Thanks for coming along and being prepared to do this. We're going to talk first of all, Bridget, a little bit about what you've done mm -hmm. and about what you're looking for. Then I'm going to tell you a bit more about the job and we can take it from there. Great. OK? Yeah. Bridget's been sitting down for just 12 seconds and said all of five words. But her trace has immediately gone up from an average reading of zero to an impressive 56. Let's just start with, I've um, got your CV here. Clearly she's got a positive impression. That's the most important bit of the interview. That would have been based on what she looks like. She looks like a PA. Yeah, I, just, I like that and I'm good at that and I'm mm. efficient and fast and I do mm. as much of making sure everything's in order as possible. The trace remains like high right till the end, finishing at nearly 100. Bridget's prospects look good. Well, you seem very focused, I'm sure you will. You've done really well. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. That's great. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. When anybody meets anybody anywhere for the first time, in order to process information, it is absolutely essential uh, to make a judgment about this person. So essentially what people do is make up their mind about a person and what that person's like, generally within the first 15 seconds. Sometimes you could make your mind up so quickly that I just didn't give them the benefit of any further doubt. Well, I have to say that strong aftershave and strong perfume for that matter are one of my bet noirs. I would be very reluctant to employ a man with fair eyelashes. <laughs> I can think of instances where I can't remember anything about what happened or the person. All I can remember is this smell coming towards me and wanting to get away from it badly. And all I could see through the glass table was the fact that she hadn't shaved her legs and there were these black hairs sort of just like sprouting through the tights, and I couldn't get beyond that. Not crazy about Grey's shoes, I'm afraid. I don't quite know why that I, I feel that way. I mean, she couldn't have shaved her legs for weeks. Lucy, hello, hello. I'm Judy Fisher. Thanks so much for coming along to see me. We're going to just talk a little bit about... Lucy looks fine, so her trace starts slightly above average, but only just, and it doesn't last. Uh, it was my favourite subject at school. It was Listen to her voice. It's beginning to lack expression. She's years. licking her lips, signs of tension. Long term, something at best, the trace is mediocre. Again, at worst, it drops. I'm interested in alternative health and nutrition, and uh, one day I'd like to make my career out of that. In what? Doing what? On what side? Of it? Well, um, possibly working from working from home, and perhaps in a clinic as well as an uh, alternative health therapist and advisor. Lucy's lifestyle ambitions don't impress. Her trace sinks from plus 30 to minus 30 in 20 seconds. But the next candidate's trace will sink like a stone. Now this should be very interesting. Shopping bags, an obvious mistake. But how quickly and dramatically will they affect her trace? Valeria, hello, I'm Hi. Judy Fisher. Good to meet you, thanks Hi. for coming in. In three seconds, it's plummeted to a feeble minus 50. Neither Lucy nor Bridget ever sank that low. I'm just going to talk a little bit about what you've done. Mm -hmm. You notice that negative first impression. 
that's based on what she looked like. She's slightly overweight, carrying shopping bags, low levels of eye contact, and nothing positive has happened yet. And on the creative side, you're keen cinema and theatre goer? Mm. Yeah, very much so, very much. What was the last thing you saw in the cinema? Um, I haven't been for ages, actually. What was the last thing I saw? And what about um, your sort I've of attention to detail? You're quite thorough. Yeah, yeah. Because you have got three spelling mistakes in your CV. Do I? Yes. If you convey a bad first impression, you have to work very, very, very hard indeed. Um, there was a little bit of research that showed that it takes eight positive pieces of positive information before you can overcome a first uh, bad first impression. My view would be that even that's very, very difficult. Unlike the other two candidates, Valeria was in fact an actress planted by us without Judy's knowledge. I'd actually been told by Terry to um, fidget, mm -hmm. to um, not look her in the eye, mm -hmm. to not smile, mm -hmm. and to um, move around in my chair quite a bit and just be evasive in general. Looking at the three graphs together, Valeria came a miserable third behind Bridget first and Lucy second. But look closely at the first five seconds. The three women have already been ranked in order, and the order never alters. I didn't find it very easy to go back on a, on a snap judgment that I had made, and possibly I'd lost some very fine candidates. It sounds very unfair, but the moment somebody walks in the room for an interview, I know or I can guess quite a lot about them just from the way they're dressed. Bridget, hello. Well done. You did really well in your interview. You were absolutely excellent, and we're delighted to offer you the job. So oh. many congratulations. Thanks very much. And the very best of luck. That's I was quite surprised that it um, showed the results so quickly, the first five seconds, though some of them were very obvious. Valeria was within the first five seconds. It was going to have to fight very hard to get better. But first impressions are very, very important. <laughs>